<laughs> well, good luck. Okay, so today we're going to talk about first the escalation clause, which is. Yeah. Hobby Lobby has a ponytail holder. You mean Cindy Link? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because like she's got a clear to clothes, like Jason Brewer's the oh, yeah. hat that he did. Yeah. And she, that's like her favorite, most comfortable hat, but you can't put because it's got the low ponytail yeah. holder like this. Yeah. And she's like, it, it, those are ponytail holders. If this one has an adapter in the back, can't bring the ponytail. Ah. Do you have a high one or a middle one or a low one? That is interesting because I'm going to be needing it pretty soon. I think I'm wearing that yesterday. Not like those ponies either. They not like them on the neck. Like that, and that's her especially yeah. when she starts to get hot and it's like yeah. hot. Yeah. Because yeah. so. even for her, if she puts it like right here, it's still like way too much. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. First oh, world. No, they're good. Hey, first world problem. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So far. Oh no, two participants. Uh oh, who jumped in? Uh it is Kristen. Kristen, who? Hey, Kristen. Come on, man. Yeah. Well, I just, well, I went down to the bottom. I just looked, oh, hey, we got two participants. Okay, that wasn't like that a while ago. Can they set it, can you set it up while it's open right now? Or I'm, I think phone you phone? need to set it so they don't have to be admitted. Think, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you can use the same link and just update. Like, if Hi, Kristen. Sorry, I took over the camera for a hot second. Yeah. I don't know if you can do it. No worries. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Hi. Yeah, you might have to. Okay. I'll take a look. Yeah, we turned ours off because we did it by accident. I'm like, oh, that's annoying. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll go take a look. Try to work Oh, I got you. Oh, no. I'm okay. okay, so why would I want to do that? Why would I want to work smarter, not harder? What? 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 Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about the escalation clause first. And the reason I want to talk about it is there is a huge disagreement between people, agents, as to how it actually works. So basically the escalation clause allows a person to make a low offer or a lower offer, uh, <clears throat> but to also say to the seller, but I'm willing to go this high in increments of this size uh, if that's what I need to do in order to win this situation First, you have to get to the high net on an offer, and then you start the escalation clauses start to kick in. So here's been the issue that we've had recently. So if we get down here to... So I just want to highlight that. It's the net to the seller, not the purchaser. Yeah. Right. right, it's the okay. net. So you have to get to the net to the seller. So that's where the escalation kicks in. I do think that that's and then after that, yes, the escalation does kick in. So, so the escalations net has to be higher than the net for uh, the high net that you have. But if you look at line 20 there, I'm just gonna read it. It says the buyer acknowledges that the escalating factor of this purchase agreement and the escalating factors of other offers may result in multiple escalations and in some cases, escalation to the cap. Now. We have an agent here in the office who said you only get one bite at the apple, which means you get to escalate one time and then you're either in or out. That's not what this says. So we had a situation with uh, Chuck Fugate. Uh, we had the agent who wrote, who, uh, wrote the offer. They were under the impression that you only got one bite at the apple 
And in this particular case, their one bite would have made them the best offer if you kicked out the other four escalations that were part of this multiple offer situation. So this agent's, our agent's first escalation made them the high compared to the first escalation of all the others. So the agent called me and said, am I doing this right? And I said, no, that it says multiple escalations from other, this says other offers. So this, our agent said, nope, that's not how I was taught. So I said, well, I didn't teach it to you then because I've always taught it the same way. So the agent said, well, okay, I'm gonna call Chuck back and apologize to him because I told him my way was the right way. So the agent called Chuck. Chuck said, no, I owe you an apology because I just talked to Kyle Worley and Kyle said that he had the same situation with Shooter Bauer. They called the state, the state said, nope, you get one bite at the apple. So Chuck and I both, and we're pretty knowledgeable about this stuff. We both said, I'm sorry? So, so I wrote that escalation and I'm going to, I'm going to go up in uh, units of $500. Okay. So I got the high net over here. Okay. I get one shot at $500 to beat that. If I don't, then we're done. Doesn't, that to me doesn't even make sense. Uh -huh. So but that's the way this agent was taught. Okay. One of our agents was taught. I don't know about him. But, it, but they're saying that yeah so the i'm going to read the statement again and you see if, which way you think works the buyer acknowledges that the escalating factor of this purchase agreement and the escalating factors of other offers may result in multiple escalations and in some cases escalation to the cat that tells me that if i'm competing with other escalation clauses that we keep moving up until somebody wins. They think it's not. So in this particular case, with one bite at the apple, they won. If we did what I said was the right way to do it, they still won, so they won either way. But their problem was, did I win at the lower level or did I have to go to the cap? So in order to compete against all the other escalation clauses, the way I suggested, had to go to the cap. The way they wanted to do it, one bite of the apple got them there. So there was thousands of dollars difference. So uh, I've since, Chuck and I have both uh, contacted John Kraft to ask him to give us a final disposition on this. But again, I, I don't understand how somebody could think you get one bite of the apple when this clearly says that you would compete against other escalations. It doesn't say against other non-escalations, other escalations. So in my opinion, and this is my opinion until we have some kind of a ruling, you compete against each other until somebody gets the better of the deal. Okay, so I'm gonna, I wanna put this in different words. Uh, okay. You're saying that if we have multiple escalating offers, mm -hmm. that you only, an agent thinks you get one bite of the apple. The listing agent or the buyer? The buyer's agent. Our, we had the buyer and our agent said, you get one bite of the apple, that's how they were taught. And I said that, honest to God, that just not even logical. So it's just thought, not logical. So they, I don't, I'm, not I'm not either, but I have an agent who's really pissed at me right now. Uh, but I mean, I can't do any more than what I'm doing. I'm asking. So they think that if there's multiple escalators, that it means that. You get to use your escalation uh, factor one time. But that would eliminate the cap. That, so maybe Correct. the cap is irrelevant? Correct. No, that's why we have a cap. Right. It should go up multiple times to get. Okay. Right. Okay, sorry. That didn't, but that didn't it, make any sense whatsoever. That's why I was following. I don't, and I agree. It doesn't make any sense to <laughs> me. And even Chuck okay. said, okay, I'm going to do it this way because Kyle said, uh, and I even said to the agent, look, I don't know what Kyle's circumstances were. We just know that he had a conversation with Chuck and Chuck doesn't even know the whole set of circumstances related to Kyle. 
So I can't say that what Kyle said is wrong or right. I don't know. I only know that if you read this and you take it for what it says, then escalation clauses do compete with one another. Yes, they do. So my opinion yeah. is that they do compete with one another till somebody finally wins. Yeah. So if you have a different feeling about it, hopefully we'll get an answer from John today. He's had it for over a week okay. from John today as to how this actually works. I will tell you that Kyle said they went to IAR and I'm gonna be really honest. IAR has given me answers that are completely wrong before. So, and this is from IAR attorneys. Um, so again, I don't know Kyle's circumstances, so I don't know if they gave him a wrong answer because I don't know all the circumstances. But I do, I do believe that if you read this line 20, it says we're gonna compete against each other escalating clause wise until somebody wins. So what do they think that you're going to do with it to compete if you're not like, I, I guess I'm I know. So why, why even write an escalation? Why not say, I'll pay you 100,000 or 100,500, whichever one I have to. And if somebody else beats it, why do you have, why is there a cap? Right, that's what I'm trying because to Because your first bite of the apple is in fact your cap thing. Right. So, I'm going to say because on the listing side of that, if you're looking at that, obviously you're going to go the highest cap. Assuming the other, assuming all other terms are the same, right, right. Your highest cap is your winner. Yeah, but basically, yeah. So then, they so are that doesn't mean you go to the cap, right? No, because if the other cap, you're going to the next highest, so right, you're, right. Okay. So they were thinking that, but also too, as a listing agent, I'm going to counter out the escalator and go to your cap. If and that, that, yeah. right, that to me makes sense. Right. Okay. But like I say, I've got somebody who's really upset with me. Really upset about it. Well, that's yeah. not our fault. They, they don't <laughs> because, because I gave them bad advice. It's like, no. I don't think I did. But you know, if which, I which if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Reading? I need to see it. Watch that. Uh, which for, which which uh, paragraph were you reading? So, well, let me get to it. Where it says multiple escalations yeah. right here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, the buyer acknowledges that the escalating factor of this purchase agreement and the escalating factors of other offers may result in multiple escalations. Doesn't okay. that say they compete? That's, yeah. I mean, how do I can't take that any other way? Right. So. So what they're thinking? Okay, make sure that. I'm so what they're thinking is that if you have multiple offers of escalation, uh -huh. they technically can't take those into account. Well, they can take them into account, but the, each escalating clause only gets one bite at the apple. So they're saying it only goes up one? One time. Oh, okay. And then the winner wins. That's and it's like, that's what I was about. Okay. that just doesn't. And each of those offers are going up to one escalator and then yeah. still the winner. No. Right. No, they, so no, it would makes be, no sense. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So, and, and so think about this. What if the, the high net. What if the high net is higher than the escalation offer? So let's say it's at a hundred thousand. Your escalation offer is at ninety, and you say I'm going to go up in five hundred dollar increments. Mm -hmm. Then you can't meet the high net of the simple offer. Right. Makes no sense. Yeah. None of that. It works. Yeah. So anyway, that's my opinion until we get a John's opinion. So if you get in a situation and it doesn't work out that way. I, I honestly, seriously, IAR is giving me bad advice before. And I've been on the phone with IAR at times and, and they said, well, this is how it is. I said, no, honestly, this is how I think it is. Would you agree with that? Oh yeah, I'll agree with that. Well, you just told me something else. Yeah, so I don't think they're, I don't think they're listening or something. Everything's open for interpretation. Well, that is very true. <laughs> oh yeah. So the escalation clause, we start with the date, we put the property address. I mean, the date of the purchase agreement, which is probably the same, uh, the property address. And then down here, the first box, which I believe is line 15, is the factor, the escalating factor. How much are you willing to go up each time you go? And the next box, uh, line, that might be line 16, I can't tell, or 17. But anyway, this one right here, that's how high are you willing to go, period, end of story. 
Uh, keeping in mind, we have to consider the net on all offers, including the escalation clause. Okay, so the next thing that you have to be concerned about is if they use the escalator, how are you gonna account for the additional money? So one is the loan amount provided for this uh, purchase agreement shall remain the same and the buyer will make up the difference in the escalation. The down payment amount provided in the purchase agreement shall remain the same and any increase shall be added to the loan amount. Or the, this is I think the one I typically use, the loan amount provided for this purchase agreement shall automatically increase to be blank percent of the new purchase price of the property. So basically that says, even though the down payment, everything remains the same percentage. Uh, or the loan uh, amount shall not exceed this much money in the US and the buyer shall make up the rest. So one of those boxes needs to be checked. And then uh, termination, the terms combined herein are for the use and purpose of obtaining a mutually agreeable purchase price and shall be deemed satisfied and will terminate upon ratification of the modified terms of this purchase agreement for the above captioned property. Uh, buyer acknowledges and affirms that this purchase agreement and escalation clause has been made on his or her own volition and at his or her own decision or discretion, I'm sorry, and buyer agrees to hold the brokers harmless with regard to negotiation of the purchase price. So in other words, we screw it up, they can't do anything about it. Acceptance of the counter offer uh, in the event the seller agrees to accept the purchase price with the terms of his purchase agreement and pursuant to the escalation clause, the seller will submit a buy the buyer a counter offer and a copy of this addendum with the purchase price adjusted according to the escalation provisions contained herein. Acceptance of the counter offer will occur upon counter signature of the modified terms of this purchase agreement by the buyer and delivery to the seller of the fully executed counter offer. So they can't just say to you, well, this is where you wound up and we're done. You have to, they have to give you a counter and you have to sign it. Um, and then there's room for signatures. Um, any questions? Kristen, any questions? Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, I think we're recording, yeah. Okay. I kind of hope we're not recording, to be honest, because of the many things I said. Okay, so now we're going to go to a backup offer. Okay. At least I think we are. Uh, so somebody says, I want to write a backup offer. There's a, there's a form for that. I'm going to take a time out and check on her. Okay, no problem. I don't know. Uh, more pause. I don't know if it's being recorded. Oh. 